Hello from Michigan. So anyway, I've been making an air fry pizza. And it's going to be a basic simple pizza. This is a pepperoni and cheese. But I'm going to show you the ingredients first. So let's get started. I'm using pre-made crust. I'm not really sure if you can use a raw pizza dough. I'll have to do that some other day or whatever. But it's a 7 inch pizza and there's 3 of them there. I'm eventually going to make 2 and other pizzas. But, but I got my uh, pepperoni. This is the one I like, the margarita. Cheese I'm going to be using is a 6 Italian cheese blend. There's all kinds of cheese in there which is awesome. And I got Meyer mozzarella cheese, just regular. And then I got their pizza sauce to go with it. Uh, the crust requires you to brush olive oil, but I'll show you all the steps anyway. So that's all you'll need. Plus I'm using a chopping block, spoon, um, small bowl for the olive oil. Can't think of anything else, whatever. So uh, I'll get this started. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to make this pizza. All right, I'm start with the crust. I don't see no easy open on it, so I'm probably gonna have to take a knife or something. Yeah, there's no easy open on it. So I'm gonna to open this up. And I got a dog snowing in the background too, so you guys probably can hear that snoring away. Never tried this crust before, so I have no idea if it's any good or not. So, Hopefully this even works out. Oh, so that's one crust. One of these was messed up. I guess it doesn't matter. It has a weird smell to it. I don't know why. But whatever. This crust does have uh, like a little bowl in it. So the sauce and stuff will hold in there. Here's the bottom of it. Uh... So I gotta brush, I guess, brush both sides and flip it over first. Extra version olive oil. Don't use that much anyway. Let's we'll brush this on. Here's what, it, what the directions at the back of the whatever pizza crust says. I put too much on here, whatever. Spread it around. Now I flip it back over to the topping side. I don't know if you're supposed to do the topping side or not. I did the bottom. I guess I could just do like the crust or something. I don't know. I pie, the center of it probably doesn't need olive oil. Because you're going to put pizza sauce in there. So that's probably all I'm gonna do for that. So that's enough for the olive oil. All right, my pizza sauce I'm gonna open up. And it's the first time trying this brand of pizza sauce too, so hopefully it tastes good. Oh, and I took up the can before I uh, opened it too. I did that off camera. Give it a nice shake, make sure it's all mixed together really well. Look too bad, kind of smells pretty good. I'll probably give it another mix anyway. I'm gonna taste it. Let's see if it's actually good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Pizza sauce. I don't know how much pizza sauce I'm really need to add. A couple tablespoons at least. That's probably good. It seems like a, a lot of pizza sauce. You can add more or less pizza sauce. So whatever you like on the, your pizza, I guess. So two tablespoons I'm using. This is a big tablespoon. It's plenty for this pizza. I don't want too much pizza sauce anyway. Back in there, I got other pizzas to make later. So I'm gonna start out with a little bit of the six cheese blend. It has um, Asiago and Fana and Parmesan cheeses in it, provolone cheese and mozzarella. This is finely shredded too, so I just want to put like a little bit on here to start. Just for flavor. I don't want that much of it anyways. This, this cheese does have a strong flavor to it. I need your mozzarella. It's probably no more than a half a cup. I'm just going to measure out how much I think I need. 
for the actual pizza. No, I, don't, I don't measure my stuff when I cook anyway. I usually don't. I'm not going to put uh, all the cheese on, that I want on this pizza right away. Because I, I want the uh, pepperoni like in between cheese layers. Alright, time for the pepperoni. You can use whatever pepperoni you want. It's the brand I like. To me, it's like the good kind. It has plenty of flavor to it. Decent amount of heat. And I'm loading it up on pepperoni. Because it's a pepperoni and pizza. So, don't skip on pepperoni. I can't stand that you order a pizza. And they put like five slices of pepperoni. For like the whole large pep uh, you know, pepperoni pizza or something. It's like, I can't stand that. There's one more fits. I put some like in the middle here. Uh, one more slice. And there's a the pepperoni pizza. But I am going to put cheese on top of that too. Because I don't know if the air fryer is going to blow off the pepperoni. So a little bit more mozzarella. And it's gonna act like glued. Hopefully, hope hopefully it holds the pepperoni in place. Then I'll top it off with a six cheese blend. So there you go. There's the pizza before it's cooked. Now the question is, this is my first time air frying a pizza. I don't know how I'm gonna get the air the pizza inside the air fryer. So I'll move this off to the side for a second. My air fryer. And hopefully this pizza does not break. It's in shot and I got like stuff everywhere. Yeah, that napkin nearby because I have olive oil. Please don't break pizza. I don't want this pizza to break at all. It's holding together. Carefully put this in here. So there it is. It's in there. Uh, the pizza itself is supposed to be a seven-inch pizza. My air fryer itself is uh, it's like nine inches wide, I think, and then it's almost eleven inches long or something like that. I don't know. I, I kind of measured it. I made, try to get pizza that would fit in here. That's that's like the thing too. And the air fryer that I'm using, it's one of the smaller capacities, so. Pizza fits in there, there's still room around the edges a little bit too. And my air fryer is actually kind of broken, so I gotta be careful, but at the same time, I have to shove it in here because one of the pins is broken that like latch in one spot to make it go. Hopefully, this works without messing the pizza up. Turn it on. Uh, 370. It's probably too high because I know you probably can't see what I'm doing anyway. But I got it on 350. I'll probably start out with 15 minutes, but I'll keep an eye on it until it's done. So it's on. I'll be back to uh, show you the finished product. All right, pizza's done. The clock was on 15 minutes. It's at uh, 350. At 11 minutes left, and I think it's done. Some of the cheese and pepperoni came off, which I was kind of afraid of. Now, for sure, let this cool off before I try to get this out of here. I don't know. Not too much at the bottom. Looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. It smells like pepperoni pizza. Even the pepperoni is crispy. But I need something to uh, try and get this pepperoni pizza to like move.
Hmm, let it out of there. All one piece. That's good. Not to scrape the cheese out of there. Mm. Well, the crust didn't get as crispy as I thought it would. Hmm. Make sure I'll leave that out so it cools off. I'm gonna get a close up shot of the pepperoni pizza. You see the pepperoni started curling up because I don't know if that was because of the heat or if that's because of the fan of the pizza. But cheese nice and going brown. Hmm. I know it's kind of soggy at the bottom, I kind of noticed. Yep, got my pizza cutter. I guess I can zoom out now. Let's zoom in. Zoom out a little bit so you can see. I don't know, let's go cut this pizza. Maybe I'm gonna get a crunch out of it, probably not. Nope, not really. That's probably good enough for the cut. I probably would cut it one more, but I don't want this pizza to cool off before I eat and eat it, whatever, for sure. Here's a kind of messed up piece. I'll try this one though. I'm gonna be back and let this cool off. I'll be back with a like taste test of it. All right, got the pepperoni pizza I just made. Cooled off enough where I can eat it. Here's the bottom. I know it's like a shadow. Didn't really get it all that crispy. It cooled off. The crust got a little bit crispy. Here's the top of it. So let's give it a try. Hopefully it's uh, any good or not. So cheers. Mm. Well, so far it reminds me of uh, a Lunchable pizza with, you know, better quality uh, ingredients. So that's what I'm getting. I just get to the crust. Flavor's not too bad. Pizza sauce is halfway decent. Crust is not that crispy at the bottom. So hopefully the crust got crispy. So cheers. Mm. Well, I have to say, pizza itself tastes pretty good. But it tastes like a cafeteria pizza. Which is kind of a shame. Pepperoni kind of flew off. Halfway cooking. Cross get that crispy, so I don't know. Next time, I guess my next time I make a pizza, I'm gonna have to uh, increase the temperature. I add it at 350. I probably end up going uh, 375 or well, three, three, 370. I didn't go up by fives anyway. So uh, I'm gonna eat, eat the rest of this. I'll be back. My uh, final thoughts and rating. So cheers, everybody. Big bite. Mm. On the way of holding pizza anyway. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna give my pepperoni pizza. Not really gonna give it a score. Uh, I would, it probably it wouldn't be that much of it anyway. Probably like a 4.8 or something. Crust, it's okay. I don't really care for the, the crust all that much. No, really, no flavor to it. Uh, cheese and pepperoni are actually pretty good. Pizza sauce is okay. Uh, if I, I probably make this pizza again, I probably uh, get a different pizza sauce. And uh, my local grocery store, they only had the you know in-house store brand, or they had some kind of Mama Mia or something. I probably should have got that one instead. So if I ever make a, another round of pizza, I guess I have to try that out, and make a video. But so far, it's not bad. It's just like cafeteria pizza. Definitely need some kind of like hot sauce or something out to kick it up. It's definitely not dry. Crust not crispy, but it's cooked all the way through. Other than that, I don't know, it's not too bad of a pizza. Uh, I guess you can kind of recommend air frying it. Some of the toppings might blow off, like the pepperoni, and this like one piece here. Like the pepperoni started to like, you know, curl up and stuff like that. That's probably where the pepperoni piece uh, flew off, and I already ate that piece. It was almost like pepperoni jerky, which it kind of tastes pretty good. I had that caramelized cheese mixed with it too, which was, was actually made made it pretty awesome. So yeah, I kind of do recommend air frying the pizza. And I got two more uh, pizzas I'm gonna plan on making in the future. Or, you know, multiple pizzas or whatever in the future. So enjoy this video. Give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe more videos. Thanks for watching, peace out.